Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief, brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm Renee Marks, your host, and uh, I bring you the headlines from Israel every Monday to Thursday, right on this very platform, and I hope you're all doing okay. We are in Israel are doing much better than we have been over the last couple of weeks, uh, rain notwithstanding. Yes, it's raining, who'd have thunk it? in uh, May, but uh, as the whole world is upside down at the moment, why shouldn't uh, our weather systems be? But without further ado, let's take a look at today's top stories. Last night, Prime Minister Netanyahu announced the government's exit strategy on how we are going to start waking up the economy as uh, our numbers of the from the coronavirus significantly improve. So before I get into those restrictions that have been lifted, let's take a look at what our current stats look like. So at the moment, we have 16,268 people that are confirmed cases since the breakout of the pandemic. Of that, we have 237 fatalities recovered 10,223, which is very, very significant because it's almost double to those currently still infected at 5,808, with 89 in serious condition and 68 on ventilators. But last night, much to the relief of many of us around the country, cautious but uh, optimistic relief, The Prime Minister announced that uh, there would be a significant amount of restrictions being lifted. Now, he did say that there are three metrics that they are measuring this by. The first is that we keep our numbers below 250 in serious condition. The other is that we keep our numbers below 100 new cases per day, and that the number of new cases doubles only every 10 days. If the so, if the numbers exceed that, then we will have to go back into uh, putting on more restrictions and a lockdown situation. So some of the restrictions being lifted, as we spoke about yesterday, that uh, uh, Granny and Grandpa can now see their grandchildren. However, the Prime Minister said. One of the reasons that we do have the success rate is because we have been so vigilant about social distancing, hygiene, wearing masks. And uh, he stressed that while you can see grandchildren don't run up to them, don't hug, in fact, don't even touch. So some of the restrictions being lifted are as follows. Um, Schools, and this is all grades, will likely go back on the 10th of May. At the moment we have grades 1 to 3 and grades 11 and 12 that are back at school in a rotational basis and under very strict social distancing criteria. On Thursday, which is the 7th of May, malls, open air markets will start to open. Um, libraries, other places will start to open up slowly. Uh, the government did speak about the possibility of opening gyms and other sports facilities, but this is still in discussion. A lot of us are concerned how will they manage social distancing in a gym. The beaches are still closed, but the good news is that there are no longer any restrictions on how far from home we can go to exercise. So if you want to take that walk along the beachfront, which I am dying to do, we can do so as long as we wear our masks and we keep uh, safe social distancing. Now, uh, this is not to say that areas where there are high infections are out of lockdown. Areas like Beit Shemesh and several neighborhoods in Jerusalem continue to be under lockdown because of the high levels of infections in those places. So this seems to be the strategy is to isolate and lock down those areas where there are high levels of infections. Also discussed today is whether or not any Israelis returning from overseas would have to quarantine at home or in government um, facilities. Many hotels have uh, given themselves or lent themselves to be quarantine facilities and this is not just very expensive but it's taking a tremendous toll on the mental health of uh, patients quarantined there. Also under discussion or also announced today that um, the numbers or crowds that can gather for religious prayers and I assume that this is uh, for our Muslim cousins as well as uh, 
people wanting to go to places like the Kotel are now uh, bigger. In fact, areas of the, the Kotel have been cordoned off so that no more than 19 people per group gather in the same place. And uh, the amount of people allowed to return to offices has also increased. All this is done while maintaining very, very, very strict uh, social distancing mechanisms, uh, taking off temperatures, making sure people wear masks, keeping a safe and responsible distance from each other. These are all measurements that have been put in place and the penalties for uh, uh, businesses breaking uh, these norms are quite severe. So those are our top COVID stories for today, but let's take a look at the other big story, which is what is happening at the High Court or the Supreme Court. And it's day three of the hearings on the legality of the unity deal between the blue and white and between the Likud. And uh, one of the issues also up for debate is whether or not the Prime Minister, uh, should he face indictment, will be fit to continue as Prime Minister. But today the High Court announced two major concerns. One is that the Blue and White wanted to extend the Norwegian law, which is the law that allows anybody from their party who vacates their post as a ministerial position, the person next on the list comes down. The Blue and White wanted that the next two or third person, second or third person rather, comes in, but um, the High Court has said no, they're not happy with that. And the other is that they were concerned that um, the agreement said any non-corona legislation would be frozen for the next six months, but this has been amended by the Likud and Blue and White. And finally, news I think we've all been waiting for is uh, what is happening in the race for a corona vaccine. And today, the Israeli Institute of Biological Research and uh, Israel's Defense Ministry announced that a significant breakthrough has been made. They've been able to isolate a, an enzyme or an antibody that uh, could go a long way into um, helping to neutralize the cells that spread a coronavirus. Now, while this is a significant breakthrough, it is not the cure, it's not the vaccine yet. However, it is a major, major step in the right direction. And uh, I know that every country around the world is throwing significant resources at scientists, at doctors, and the race is on to find that vaccine that uh, can help us all move beyond what has been this uh, horrendous global pandemic. So those are the top stories making headlines today. And uh, don't forget, you can check out our content online at www.layoftheland.online. You can read Dave Kaplan's article about the Dr. Dr. Gamzu, who is heading up uh, the strategy to take care of Israel's elderly during this time. You can also check out our Facebook page. And while you're there, please join our community by liking us or following us. And uh, if you miss your news on Facebook, don't worry, we have a YouTube channel and all you have to do is look for us at the Israel Brief, click on the subscribe button and you will get your news headlines. So with today's edition of the Israel Brief, I'm Raleen Marks wishing you all good health.